When we arrived in the valley, the temperature was below negative 10 degrees Celsius, while the forecast had projected the low to be around negative 1 degree Celsius that night. We had planned a 20 kilometer two day hike following the Grande Traversée de Vercors, starting from the city of Croissant en Vercors. We decided to start our hike despite the colder temperature, trusting in our gear to manage well in the cold. However, we could have never imagined how low the temperature would drop that night. So it's like 3.30 and we're starting to look at campsites. A lot of nice places, pretty flat. Still a little early to stop. Around 4 p.m. we found the perfect campsite with a view we had only dreamed of. The temperature started dropping much faster than anticipated, so we ended up hiding in the tent to prepare and eat our dinner. So it's uh, minus 14 right now, so it's way, way colder than the forecast, which was minus one. Everything's frozen. But the temperature inside the tent is okay so far. It is 6 a.m. and it's minus 22 outside. Everything is frozen. After the night, our next challenge was making hot coffee and a warm breakfast. The problem was with our gas canister. The liquid gas inside was too cold to make the stove work. In order to warm up the gas, we surrounded it with water we had kept warm in our sleeping bag. Sun is coming out, finally. After the first rays of sunshine, the temperature warmed up quickly. So we packed up camp and started the nine kilometer hike back to our car.
This ended up being a wonderful, if only slightly painful adventure. But if anything else had gone wrong, like strong winds, snowstorm, or gear failure, we could have experienced a horrible or potentially dangerous night. That night, our thermometer recorded a minimum temperature of negative 23.4 degrees Celsius. <laughs>